Ever since the launch of the Perseverance rover, numerous online users have reported sightings of enigmatic artifacts on the Martian surface. Among the most recent discoveries is an image that sparked intrigue within online communities dedicated to investigating unusual phenomena on Mars. This particular image prompted considerable discussion, with many observers noting the striking resemblance of the object to mushrooms or mold growing on a rock. Some individuals claimed that the fungus-like growth had appeared on the Martian surface in a matter of days, expressing unease towards this peculiar feature. Furthermore, certain members speculated on the long-standing debate regarding NASA's alleged documentation of life on Mars over the years, pointing out a perceived lack of extensive scrutiny of such photographic evidence provided by the agency. The discourse surrounding these observations continues to fuel speculation and curiosity among those closely following developments on Mars. Dr. Regina Das, from the Department of Microbiology at the School of Life Sciences in India, has expressed intriguing observations regarding certain photographs. According to her, the sedimentary formations captured in the images exhibit unique characteristics such as mushroom-like shapes, distinct stems, stalks, and what appears to be spores spread across the surrounding terrain. She highlighted the rarity of these features, emphasizing that terrestrial forces, whether geological or otherwise, are incapable of generating such diverse sedimentary structures in significant numbers. Notably, NASA documented 15 distinct specimens sprouting from the ground within a remarkably short span of just three days. These findings have raised questions about the origin and formation of these peculiar structures, prompting further investigation and analysis to unravel the mysteries surrounding them. The assertion triggered a surge in interest in the photographs, prompting numerous individuals to speculate whether this could potentially serve as definitive evidence of the existence of life on Mars. To conduct a comprehensive study, scientists would have to physically witness and classify microorganisms or any microbial entities residing in the soil, rocks, or beneath the Martian surface. This extensive process might entail deploying automated rovers or landers, outfitted with advanced tools, designed to pinpoint indications of microbial life, like metabolic functions or organic elements. Examining these samples with meticulous detail is crucial to enriching our understanding of potential microbial existence on Mars. In-depth analyses conducted through such means contribute significantly to enhancing our knowledge of the possibility of life beyond Earth in alien environments like Mars. Given this situation, a proposition has been put forth suggesting that NASA should direct the Mars rover to investigate this specific rock, collect samples from it, and conduct analyses to detect potential indications of life forms. The rationale behind this proposal lies in the belief that the rock in question might hold crucial clues that could shed light on the presence of life beyond Earth. Researchers are required to detect and examine organic molecules, which are compounds comprising carbon and other vital elements for life, that serve as indicators of biological processes. This task may encompass scrutinizing samples of Martian soil, rocks, or even atmospheric gases to determine the existence of amino acids, lipids, sugars, or various other biomolecules. The analysis of these substances is crucial for gaining insights into potential biological activity on Mars and understanding the fundamental building blocks necessary to sustain life forms on the Red Planet. Researchers interested in exploring potential signs of biological existence on Mars may conduct investigations targeting metabolic activities linked to living organisms like respiration, photosynthesis and methane generation. The utilization of sophisticated tools capable of identifying various gases, including oxygen, methane and other metabolic residues, could serve as crucial indicators pointing towards ongoing biological processes on the Red Planet. This approach not only facilitates the detection of potential life forms, but also offers insights into the dynamic biological functions that could be occurring on Mars, shedding light on the possibility of life. The preserved remnants of ancient life on Mars, like microbial mats, stromatolites or microbial fossils, hold significant potential as crucial indicators of historical biological processes on the planet. In upcoming exploratory endeavors, there is a likelihood of launching missions specifically aimed at retrieving samples from Mars for detailed examination. These missions would focus on gathering and scrutinizing Martian rocks and sedimentary formations 
in order to ascertain the presence of fossilized remains or other distinct markers of past life. In a comprehensive exploration of the topic, Dr. Edwin Kite, a planetary geoscientist affiliated with the University of Chicago, expressed their stance by saying that they would take away their license as a biologist, especially those specialized in microbiology. They are of the belief that the features are caused by wind erosion. Scientists might have seen a life molecule on another planet. In a significant advancement in the quest for extraterrestrial life, scientists may have identified a molecule that is typically generated solely by living organisms on Earth. This discovery marks a crucial milestone in the exploration for life beyond our planet. The groundbreaking detection of this particular molecule holds promising implications for the potential existence of beings on other celestial bodies. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently reported a potential identification of dimethyl sulfide as revealed by researchers. This compound is typically associated with biological activity on Earth as it is primarily generated by living organisms, notably phytoplankton, thriving in oceanic settings. While the observation regarding the presence of DMS on the distant planet remains unconfirmed by scientists, additional validation is required to substantiate this claim. It is imperative for further research to ascertain conclusively whether DMS does indeed exist on the remote celestial body in substantial quantities. In addition to the thrilling discovery of the planet K218b, it has captured the attention of scientists for several compelling reasons. Researchers have verified the presence of carbon-containing compounds on this intriguing planet, such as methane and carbon dioxide. This revelation marks a significant breakthrough in the quest for extraterrestrial life, shedding light on the chemical composition of this planet and fueling speculation about the potential for habitability. The findings indicate the possibility that this planet could potentially belong to the category of Hycean exoplanets, characterized by having an atmosphere abundant in hydrogen and a surface predominantly composed of water. These specific environmental characteristics are believed to create favorable conditions that could potentially support extraterrestrial life forms. This planet revolves around a faint dwarf star called K218, located approximately 120 light years away from our planet Earth. This distant world has a mass eight times greater than that of Earth, classifying it as a sub-Neptune in the scientific community. This classification distinguishes it from any known planets in our solar system, presenting a unique and intriguing subject that has not been extensively explored by researchers. The scientific community lacks definitive knowledge regarding the composition and appearance of the atmospheres surrounding exoplanets. This uncertainty extends to the potential characteristics of these planetary atmospheres. However, recent research outcomes indicate a promising prospect for investigating the possibility of extraterrestrial life in these environments. The statement by Niku Madhusudan, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and the primary author of a recent publication detailing the outcomes, highlights the crucial significance of exploring a wide range of habitable environments when seeking potential life forms beyond our planet. This assertion stresses the necessity of broadening our perspective to encompass various habitable conditions in the quest for extraterrestrial life. In the past, the exploration for extraterrestrial life has predominantly concentrated on smaller terrestrial planets. However, the broader Hycean exoplanets offer a more optimal environment for conducting atmospheric studies. Hycean worlds, distinguished by their substantial size, present a unique opportunity for scientists to delve into the complexities of these planets. This planet, despite its potential as a habitable exoplanet, harbors certain conditions that could impede the sustenance of life. While speculations suggest the existence of an ocean on its surface, the extreme temperatures prevailing on the planet might render this ocean inhospitable for life forms. Furthermore, this ocean may not even maintain a liquid state given the intense heat conditions. Scientists are eager to delve deeper into the characteristics of the planet and explore the realm of sub-Neptunes through more extensive observations. However, these sub-Neptunes pose a challenge in terms of visibility, despite being widely prevalent in the galaxy, as they are frequently obscured by the intense brightness emanating from their host stars. This hindrance in observation underscores the complexity of studying these celestial bodies, which are vital for expanding our understanding of planetary systems. Utilizing a similar methodology, this planet was initially identified 
by observing the brightness of its star and detecting the decrease in brightness that occurs when the planet transits in front of it. The recent discoveries employed a comparable approach by analyzing the star's light using the Webb telescope to identify residual chemical signatures present in the planet's atmosphere. This thorough investigation not only involved the identification of the exoplanet, but also delved deeper into the atmospheric composition by examining the subtle imprints of various chemicals. In discussing the findings, Savas Constantinou, a member of the research team from the University of Cambridge, highlighted that the conclusions drawn were based on just two observations of this planet, with numerous additional observations still in progress. He emphasized that the current study merely scratches the surface of what the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of detecting in exoplanets within the habitable zone. This insight underscores the early stage of exploration and research conducted. Further research efforts are essential to provide a more detailed understanding of these substances, thereby contributing to validating the potential existence of dimethyl sulfide. In the pursuit of uncovering life forms on a potentially hospitable exoplanet, Professor Madhusudan explicitly articulated that such a discovery would revolutionize our perceptions of mankind's position within the vast cosmos. He emphasized that the research outcomes signify a significant stride in unraveling the mysteries surrounding high and type planets, offering a glimpse into the intricacies of these alien worlds. The research is detailed in a forthcoming publication titled Carbon-Bearing Molecules in a Possible high and Atmosphere in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. The universe is an incomprehensibly vast and wondrous place, teeming with billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and countless planets. Among these galaxies, our own Milky Way stands out as a majestic spiral of stars, planets, and cosmic wonders. The Milky Way galaxy, our cosmic home, is estimated to contain anywhere from 100 billion to 400 billion stars. Orbiting many of these stars are planets, worlds of rock, gas and ice that span a wide range of sizes, compositions and environments. Until recently, the existence of planets beyond our solar system, known as exoplanets, was purely speculative. However, advances in observational techniques and space-based telescopes have allowed astronomers to detect and characterize thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars. As of today, Astronomers have confirmed the existence of over 4,500 exoplanets within the Milky Way. But it's estimated that in the Milky Way galaxy alone, there's over 100 million planets. These planets come in a staggering array of sizes and configurations, from massive gas giants like Jupiter to rocky Earth-like worlds orbiting within their star's habitable zone, the region where liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. The discovery of exoplanets has revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems and expanded our view of the cosmos beyond our solar system. Beyond the confines of the Milky Way, the universe stretches out into infinity, populated by billions of galaxies scattered across the vast expanse of space. Current estimates suggest that there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each containing billions or even trillions of stars along with their retinue of planets, moons and other celestial bodies. These galaxies come in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from majestic spirals like our own Milky Way to irregular blobs and elliptical clusters. The sheer scale of the universe is difficult to comprehend, with distances measured in billions of light years and cosmic structures spanning millions of light years across. Within this vast tapestry of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and planets, the potential for life to exist on other worlds is virtually limitless. While our understanding of the universe is still in its infancy, the discovery of exoplanets has opened up new avenues for exploration and discovery, fueling speculation about the existence of extraterrestrial life. The question of whether life exists elsewhere in the universe is one of the most profound and enduring mysteries of science. While we have yet to discover definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life, the sheer number of planets in the Milky Way and the billions of galaxies in the universe suggest that the conditions for life may be widespread throughout the cosmos. Recent discoveries have revealed that many exoplanets orbit within the habitable zone of their host stars, where conditions may be conducive to the existence of liquid water and, potentially, life as we know it. Furthermore, the discovery of extremophiles, 
organisms capable of surviving in extreme environments on Earth, has expanded our understanding of the potential habitats where life could flourish, from deep-sea hydrothermal vents to the icy moons of distant gas giants. Moreover, recent advances in astrobiology and planetary science have revealed that the building blocks of life, such as organic molecules and water, are abundant throughout the universe, suggesting that the emergence of life may be a common phenomenon wherever the conditions are right. While the search for extraterrestrial life remains ongoing, scientists are optimistic that future discoveries may yield tantalizing clues about the prevalence and diversity of life beyond Earth. As of right now, the Milky Way galaxy is home to billions of planets, each with its own unique characteristics and potential for hosting life. Beyond our galaxy, the universe is teeming with billions of galaxies, stretching out into infinity and offering endless possibilities for exploration and discovery. While the likelihood of life existing on other planets remains uncertain, the discovery of exoplanets has fueled speculation and excitement about the possibility of finding extraterrestrial life. As our understanding of the universe continues to evolve, so too does our appreciation for the vastness and diversity of the cosmos and the potential for life to exist on other worlds. The quest to explore distant exoplanets, worlds orbiting stars beyond our solar system, has captivated the human imagination for centuries. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets in recent years, the possibility of visiting these alien worlds has become an increasingly tantalizing prospect. However, the vast distances involved in interstellar travel pose formidable challenges that must be overcome. The distances between stars are mind-bogglingly vast, measured in units of light years. The distance light travels in one year, approximately 9.4 trillion kilometers, or 5.8 trillion miles. For comparison, the nearest star to our solar system, Proxima Centauri, is located approximately 4.2 light years away. Traveling to even the closest exoplanets would require journeys spanning thousands or millions of years using current propulsion technologies. Current propulsion technologies, such as chemical rockets, are ill-suited for interstellar travel due to their limited speed and efficiency. Chemical rockets rely on the combustion of propellants to generate thrust, but their performance is constrained by the rocket equation, which dictates that the amount of propellant required increases exponentially with velocity. As a result, chemical rockets are only capable of reaching speeds of a few kilometers per second, far too slow for interstellar travel. To overcome the limitations of traditional rocket propulsion, researchers are exploring alternative propulsion methods that offer higher speeds and greater efficiency. One promising approach is solar sail propulsion, which harnesses the momentum of photons from sunlight to propel a spacecraft forward. Solar sails offer the potential for continuous acceleration over long distances, allowing spacecraft to reach higher speeds without the need for onboard propellant. Another proposed method is nuclear propulsion, which involves using nuclear reactions to heat propellant and generate thrust. Nuclear thermal propulsion and nuclear electric propulsion are two variations of this concept that offer the potential for significantly higher speeds and shorter travel times compared to chemical rockets. However, nuclear propulsion technologies pose technical challenges and safety concerns that must be addressed before they can be deployed for interstellar missions. In addition to solar sail and nuclear propulsion, researchers are exploring more exotic concepts for interstellar travel, such as antimatter propulsion, warp drives, and wormholes. Antimatter propulsion involves the annihilation of matter and antimatter to produce energy, which is then converted into thrust. Warp drives, inspired by the science fiction concept of faster-than-light travel, would create a warp bubble in space-time to propel a spacecraft faster than the speed of light. Wormholes, hypothetical shortcuts through space-time, could potentially allow for instantaneous travel between distant points in the universe. As spacecraft approach relativistic speeds, speeds approaching the speed of light, they experience time dilation, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of special relativity. Time dilation causes time to pass more slowly for the travelers aboard the spacecraft compared to observers on Earth. While this effect may seem like a convenient way to travel through time, it presents practical challenges for interstellar missions, such as communication delays, biological effects on astronauts, and social implications for interstellar travelers. Given the immense distances and technical challenges involved in interstellar travel, robotic exploration may be a more practical and feasible approach in the near term. Robotic probes, 
equipped with advanced sensors and instruments, could be sent to explore exoplanets, gather data, and transmit their findings back to Earth. While robotic exploration may lack the human element of exploration, it offers the potential for cost-effective and risk-tolerant missions that can pave the way for future crewed missions. So, what do you make of these mysterious photographs? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.